We're two years into the COVID-19 pandemic, and there is still misinformation making the rounds on social media. Yeah, tonight, CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is fact-checking claims that look like they were published by the federal government. There's a paper written by a doctor that contains inaccurate information, but the bigger issue is where it showed up on this website, PubMed.gov. It's run by the National Institutes of Health. The claim from Dr. Kenji Yamamoto has to do with the vaccines. He says eight months after a second dose, immunity is lower than it is for someone who's unvaccinated and says as a safety measure, further booster vaccinations should be discontinued. UNC Dr. David Wall says that's just plain wrong. That's, that's more opinion than it is uh, data and evidence. Wall says it misinterprets a study published in the Lancet Medical Journal. The point was to show how important boosters are. I reached out to Yamamoto, but he did not respond. It's a letter that was written to a journal that had a false interpretation, really clearly a misunderstanding of some of the data um, that had been shown previously and published in a peer-reviewed journal. It raises a bigger question. Why is misinformation showing up on this government website in the first place? That website is, um, is sort of like a, an internet or a Google search engine for all publications. So just because a paper is on PubMed, that doesn't mean it gets a stamp of approval from the National Institutes of Health. It's just a, a nice resource for getting journal data, but it has nothing to do with the NIH. Another claim from Yamamoto criticizes the media, saying we don't talk about people getting the vaccine and then developing blood clots or other issues. You can find out why that's wrong in my story online. For CBS 17 News, I'm Jody McCrary. Now, the CDC is expected to relax some of its COVID-19 restrictions soon, just as kids start heading back to school.